So in this video I'm going to teach you how to make your granny square for your pixel afghan. I'm going to show you how to make the magic loop, how to double crochet, how to do a chain stitch, and how to slip stitch. So let's get started. To make your magic circle to begin your square, you're going to take your yarn, loop it over like so, flip it over, and you're going to take your hook, pull up your working thread, grab it, pull it through like that, so you'll have this big gaping ring and here's your slip knot. Now you're going to chain three, one, two, three, and we're going to do th two more double crochets because this counts as your first double crochet into the ring here. So to do double crochet you yarn over, insert your hook into the loop, catch the yarn and pull it up. So now you have three, you're going to pull through two and pull through two. And that's a double crochet. So that's one, two. We're going to do one more. Same way. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. And we're going to do the same thing that we did over here. So we're going to yarn over, go into our loop, draw up yarn. So there's three on your hook. Work off two at a time. Do that two more times into the ring for this set of stitches here. Now we need to do what we did before. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. We're going to yarn over and go into the loop again and work three sets of double crochets once more. We're going to chain three again and do another set of three double crochets. Oops, it's kind of hard to do this when you've got a camera between your arms here. Okay, so here's the square. Now you're going to take this tail that you've been working over and you're going to pull it. Just tug it tight and that's going to close your square up. Okay, now you need to chain three more chains. So one, two, three. And if I forgot to mention, um, I'm working with a size H hook and just some red heart worsted weight yarn. Um, you can really use any kind of yarn or hook that you want. Normally I use a size G, but my size G hook is with another project that I'm working on, so I just grabbed this one. Now you're going to do a slip knot. Let me show you. At the top of this chain three, you're going to go in here, pull your yarn through, and then you're going to pull the first loop through the other loop. So that's a slip stitch. And that is the first round of your granny square. Now we need to get over here to this corner. So what we're going to do is slip stitch in the next three stitches. So you go in here. All right, come on camera, focus. There we go. You're going to pull up a loop and pull it through. You're going to do the same thing into the next stitch. And then you're in here. You're going to go into this corner stitch here, draw up a loop and chain stitch. And now to do the next round, you're going to start like we did in the beginning. You're going to need to chain three stitches. And now we're going to do two more double crochets because that chain three stitch counts as your first double crochet. In this particular project anyway. So there's the first part. Now we're going to chain two this time because we're in the corner and we need to make a corner stitch. Down here we chain three. You can chain two in the first round if you like. I do three just because I feel like it gives me a little bit more room to work with. But So this time we're going to do chain two and we're going to do another set of three double crochets. And now we're here. We need to get back over here. So what I like to do, now this is optional. I've seen some people, they don't do it. 
So down here we have our three double crochets. I'm just going to chain one. That gives me a little bit of extra room. Now I'm going to jump over here and I'm going to do my three double crochets again. My yarn has a knot in it. There we go. Alright, so you're going to do your three double crochets. At this point, I think you guys kind of... Oh, Come on. At this point, I think you guys kind of know what I'm doing. Um, you're going to continue it with the corner stitches. You're going to do a set of three, chain two, another set of three in the same stitches so you get your corner. You're going to chain one in between the corner spaces. So I'm going to go ahead and stop and I'll meet up with you guys when I'm finished with this square. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, so at this point, Here's my square. I'm doing two rounds for the projects. Normally for the projects that I do, I just do two rounds, but you can keep going and make it as big as you want. Um, so we're finished up here. Now I just need to join it at the top. So I'm right above this set of three double crochets. So I'm just going to chain one. Now I'm going to go into the top loop here and I'm going to slip stitch. Now for this first square in your pixel afghan, you're going to finish the whole thing. Um, all the way around. So this is our first square. The second square and the remainder of the squares you're going to do slightly different and in part two I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'll meet up with you guys here in just a few. <laughs> 